you're interested in seeing how my Wi-Fi speeds went from this to this, stay tuned to this video. Welcome to Joshua's Tech Tips. I'm Joshua. In my previous video, I shared some tips on how you can improve your Wi-Fi connection at home or business. If you haven't seen that video, I'll leave a link for it in the description. In this video, I'll be showing you the device that powers my Wi-Fi network at home. I currently have Digicel's internet server. And so far, the internet service from Digicel has been great. With one exception, they provided me with a wireless router slash modem. These devices, while they provide good internet service, the Wi-Fi connection is not really that great. That said, I did some research and I came across Ubiquiti brand of networking equipment and they provide some pretty good commercial grade networking equipment. The best part of it is it comes at a ridiculously low cost compared to their competitors. So I purchased the Nano HD wireless access point. A wireless access point is a bit different from your traditional wireless router. You could refer to my previous video where I discussed the differences. So let's just do a quick unboxing of this device to show you what you get with it. So you get the actual wireless. This is the access point. All right. You get a mountain bracket. And you get a PoE injector. Right, so this actually is provides power to the the AP or access point. So if you look at the back of this, there are two ports. One port is PoE, this is power over Ethernet, and one port says LAN. Right? So the power over Ethernet port, you connect an Ethernet cable, or you know those big cables that you look like a thick telephone jack, right? Um, if you connect one end there and you connect the other end to your access point, right? If you look at the access point, there's an Ethernet port there as well. So one end of the cable goes there and one to here, right? And the other end of here now, at the LAN port, one end of this cable goes here, the other end to your modem, you know, your ISP provided modem. So the great thing about this is, you can literally run up to a 300 feet cable to power this device. It gets power through the PoE injector. Right, that one Ethernet cable provides power to this. So you can mount this literally 300 feet away. You don't need any um, electrical power outlet there. Provided it gets power over the actual Ethernet cable. That's pretty cool. Some benefits of this particular um, wireless access point. It um, supports a feature called MU MIMO. So what this is, traditional wireless routers do single user MIMO, right? This means how a, a wireless router works is once it receives requests from devices, it can only service one device at a time, right? So say you have a computer requesting to go face on Facebook, you have a smartphone requesting to go on YouTube, you have a, another device requesting to go on Gmail. The wireless router cannot process all these requests at the same time. They actually service one device at a time. They usually do this, do, does this so fast, you don't notice the, the, the difference, right? You think it's supplying these three devices at the same time, however, it's actually doing it one at a time. The advantage with this device, it supports MU MIMO, multi-user MIMO, meaning it actually could service all the uh, multiple devices at the same time, unlike single user MIMO, right? So you're gonna instantly see a boost in your network performance. Number two, it supports dual band, so 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz. It supports 300 megabits per second speed on your 2.4 gigahertz, and it supports a whopping 1733 megabits on your 5 gigahertz band. So that's fine, you're gonna see great internet speeds on either band you use. However, people who uh, have their network um, devices set up like media servers and stuff you're gonna get gigabit speed so it's gonna come in pretty handy for those sorts of users um, it supports multiple SSIDs so meaning SSID is what we would term a wireless signal so once you search on your device for wireless network you'll see network A and network B this supports up to four so if you're at home and you have 
your your network, your wireless network set up. Sometimes you have family and friends over that you don't want to share the that's why you want to share that um, password with. You could create a guest network for those you for those users and give them their guest password. Another thing too, you could set the speed. So on your guest network, for instance, you could set like 10 megabits per second. On your primary network, you could set like unlimited um, internet internet speeds, right? And last but not least. This device supports up to 200 concurrent users, so this will be perfect for home usage as well as commercial applications can benefit from these devices. Now for the actual speed test. I'm going to start first with my Digicel wireless router. Both my Digicel router and my Ubiquiti access point are located about 20 feet away from my phone for these tests. So with the Digicel router, we got a download speed of 44.2 megabits per second and an upload speed of 0.27 megabits per second. Now for the Ubiquiti test. Please note these tests were carried out several times and yielded similar results. So with Ubiquiti, we got a download speed of 71.6 megabits per second and an upload speed of 70.9 megabits per second. So as you can see, we are getting much better Wi-Fi speeds with Ubiquiti access point. I'm currently paying for a 70 megabits upload and download with my internet service provider. I'm able to enjoy the full speed with Ubiquiti access point. So thanks a lot for viewing this video guys. Um, if you're interested in purchasing this device, I'm going to leave a link in the description of this video. Also, in the next video, I'll be showing you step by step how to set up one of the devices. Please like and share the video and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already done so. Alright guys, thanks again for your time. See you soon.